point is the blessing that Esau traded for this bowl of soup, it was an intangible, invisible blessing. It wasn't like he was saying, yeah, I'm going to um, take this soup and you can have thousands of dollars as the inheritance because the inheritance was not money. The inheritance that his father gave was a, a invisible father's blessing on his life for all his generations. But he didn't value the invisible. He could only value what he put in his stomach. And so um, it actually says that it was godless. In reading in Hebrews 12, it says that he was godless because he did that. And so here, I looked at that, I was like, wow, that's very severe to call him godless because he just took this bowl of food and you know let his brother have the inheritance rights. But the reason why it was godless, listen carefully to this, is because he valued the visible more than the invisible. And being godly is to be like God. And God is invisible. And a lot of what God does and promises us are not tangible to our actual eyes and five senses. A lot of what he does can only be discerned by the Spirit. And a lot of times as humans, we put so much weight on what can be felt and seen and heard. And, and that's good. And of course, we must put weight to that, right? But there is something that is even more powerful than the things that are physical. And those are the intangible things uh, that are physically intangible. They're very tangible. We can feel them. We can experience them. But we do that in the spirit. And so this man Esau sold something invisible for something that was visible and that was godless. But there's more. Okay, there's more. Um, because it actually says before that in Hebrews 11, it talks about Moses. And it talks about how Moses valued the disgrace of being persecuted with the people of God. He valued that because he was looking forward to something that was invisible. And so he was able to value something that was hard. He would take that. It actually, I'm going to read it to you. It says he, re he regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the riches of Egypt. So he actually valued something that he couldn't see more than something that he could actually see. And it was, it was the riches of Egypt because he understood that there was something more powerful that his life was about than just the things that we can see and feel and hear. And obviously, you know, we've gone through a rough season in the world where we've actually seen a lot of tangible things dissipate before our eyes. And if our value is on the things that we can see and we haven't learned to value him and his promises and the love and the joy and the peace that he, he offers to us every single day, we're going to walk in so much discouragement because everything that is shakable has, it feels like it's been shaken, right? But one thing that is unshakable is the invisible kingdom of God. But here's the crazy thing. Do you know that the invisible does manifest as visible? And if, if you look at scriptures and you understand that, you know, we, we start off with faith. It feels like it's, it's invisible, but it begins to work out in our life. And suddenly it becomes visible. Suddenly it becomes tangible. Suddenly our lives change. Suddenly our poverty turns to riches. Suddenly our brokenness on the inside turns to joy. Suddenly relationships that were straining and hard become healthy and vibrant. You know, and that's how God works. It always begins with the invisible and it outworks into the visible. But if we start off by focusing on the visible and we worship the visible and we don't understand that, that what is seen is not necessarily the thing that is um, the kingdom, but what is unseen and what is unseen will become the kingdom. And the Bible actually promises us that the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God and that his kingdom is expanding and increasing on the earth. And so it may feel discouraging right now, but be encouraged and take heart because the kingdom of God is manifesting. It first manifests in the invisible and then it manifests in the visible. And then I want to encourage you this last thing. If you feel like you've been Esau, if you feel like you've swapped out this this grace of God on your life for something that is worth nothing. The beautiful thing is straight after that, it says, the next verse, it says, because it, it says that he, Esau, he wanted to get the blessing afterwards and he cried and he, he begged his father, but it was too late because he'd swapped it out 
for a bowl of porridge but it says here don't worry it carries on it says here in hebrews 12 the next thing it says but you have not come to that place in your life to to the old covenant that you there was a mountain there that you couldn't touch god was untouchable like you couldn't ask him um to change his mind i mean he he did change his mind and i don't want to say god was untouchable but there were, we were in a covenant in the old testament where if you did something wrong a lot of times like you couldn't get forgiven you couldn't get any type of reversal but he says you have come to the new jerusalem you've come to the mount zion you've come to a place now this is the new covenant in jesus christ where no matter what it is that you've swapped out for a bowl of porridge like there is a second chance there's a third chance there's a fourth chance because god is a good father and because there's always forgiveness there's always great there's always redemption i love this there's redemption and that means that we get what we don't deserve god redeems something that is lost and broken and he can change it and give us what we don't deserve because he's a good father and all we need to do is take our hearts and put them on him and begin to trust him begin to trust what we can't see with our eyes begin to trust just what we could feel and you will begin to see the manifestation of god in your life not just in the on the inside not just in the spiritual but even in the natural because he's a good father so have an amazing day and god bless you bye bye